In this video, I will show you how to restart a Gaussian job or Gaussian calculation which has interrupted you to any reason from the end point. First of all, we will take a simple molecule. We will take a simple molecule, for example, benzene, to make the process easy and small. So I'll take the benzene template. Here is my molecule. I will save it as my input file. I'll save it on the desktop in a separate folder and name it as opt benzene. Okay, this is my input file. Now we'll open this file in Gaussian to start our calculations. Okay, this is my file. I will manually give all the commands here. So first of all, I will change this method here. I'll change it to B3LYP and 6. Three, one, one, plus plus G. G bracket and off. So this is our command, and to restart our calculation again from the endpoint, we'll have to save two files. That is CHK file and read write file that is rwf file so this is our chk file i just copy paste here and change it to read write file read write file rwf file i also change the extension read write file okay another important command percentage memory that works for me is 1300 and percentage n process processor that is that's four for me okay so this is our input file i just save it and then run the calculation i will save the output file in the same folder with the same name okay so my calculation has started and it will take a while to complete so before it finish i'll interrupt it and stop it There are mainly two methods by which you can restart a Gaussian job from the end geometry. As my optimization is under process, this is okay, it's going to complete. I will just stop it. Okay, so we just check it. As I have interrupted the calculation, so we will check how to restart. There are mainly two methods by which you can restart a calculation. So by first method, as our output file is here, CHK file, RWF, all here. So you can see the file by opening it in Notepad and going toward the end of it. You can see. The calculation has stopped because there is no normal termination. So I will open it in the gas view. Here also you will see the message the Gaussian job may still be running or did not terminate normally. Okay, but our last geometry we have obtained the last geometry or last coordinates, so we can use this coordinate 
to convert again it to another input file and restart the calculation. So I will convert this output file into another input file by just saving. Okay, so I have just saved it. Now we will restart the calculation in Gaussian. I will open the second file which I have saved with this name and just start it. Okay, so it will ask again for the output file. I will again name it as 2 to, because I don't want to overread it. Now it will take a while to complete. So this is the first method by which you can change the output file which have terminated into an input file and again running the calculation normally. Uh, there's also another method by which you can run the calculation from the chk file. I will also show you this method. So here our calculation are going to complete when you get such type of the message it means your calculation are just going to finish. Just take a little while. These were our input orientation or input coordinates. Okay, so normal termination of the Gaussian job. So this is the method how you can restart a Gaussian job. <laughs>